Ocracoke Island. The only way for most people to get here is by ferry. Its seclusion is what first drew settlers to the island, and later, one of America's most notorious outlaws. His name was Edward Teach, better known as the Pirate Blackbeard. Patrolling these waters on his ship, the Adventure, Blackbeard plundered the merchant vessels that passed through the Ocracoke Inlet, one of the busiest shipping waterways of the 18th century. And it was here, in 1718, where he met his fate, when a Royal Navy captain lured Blackbeard into an ambush, cut off his head, and dumped his body into the sound. Legend has it, Blackbeard's ghost still roams Ocracoke Island, searching for his long lost head. Fishermen and surfers alike are drawn to North Carolina's coast, but there is danger beneath these waters, especially for big ships. A treacherous 12 mile long sandbar called Diamond Shoals lies just off the coast, conspiring with powerful ocean currents to pull ships to their demise. Well over a thousand vessels have gone down here, earning the area the nickname, the Graveyard of the Atlantic. The Cape Hatteras Lighthouse has kept watch over these perilous waters since 1870. It took a hundred laborers and nearly one and a quarter million bricks to complete. Standing 210 feet, it's the tallest brick lighthouse in North America. Lighthouse keepers were originally housed in the frame buildings nearby. From the top of the tower, they'd carefully stand watch over the lamp all through the night. That is until 1934, when the light went electric. On a clear night, the beacon can be seen by sailors 20 nautical miles out at sea. 